Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk about my current skincare routine because it has changed a lot since the last time I did a skincare video, which has been a hot minute. I want to say about a year, which is crazy. About five months ago, my skin kind of did a complete 180 on me and for lack of a better term, wigged out on me because I started, for most of my life, I had really, really good luck with breakouts. I was, was just fortunate to have pretty clear skin for most of my life. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I started getting bumpy red patches around my mouth. My skin started changing around there. And then also deeper blemishes under the skin that wouldn't necessarily come to the surface, but they were just really painful and really, really bothersome. So I knew I had to do something. Besides the more recent breakout issues, for the most part, my skin is normal. It's a combination skin so it's not really oily not really dry I just kind of get some annoying shine in my t-zone from time to time as of right now I'm happy to say that my skin is about 99% cleared up which is so such a relief. I do have some slight scarring around my mouth still, but that continues to get better, I think, day by day. So I would definitely attribute the improvement in my skin to the fact that I've been using the proactive acne treatments for about, I would say, a month and a half now. So uh, I don't want this to turn into a proactive infomercial, which you guys have all seen, so I won't be cheerfully splashing my face with water at any point throughout this video, but I will say this, I am very, very happy with the results that I've seen. So I'm going to take you through and talk about all of my steps in my skincare routine from AM to PM. So in the morning is when I actually use the proactive. So it is recommended that you use it twice a day, which I did until my skin pretty much totally cleared up. I always try to use products as recommended at first, and then I just kind of use them how it works for me such a rebel I know. So the first step is the renewing, I think it's the renewing cleanser. The label on mine has kind of rubbed off. Really does kind of polish your skin and um, cleanses it really well, gets rid of all that gunk in your pores and everything. And I think that through using this I've noticed that my skin is a lot brighter. So it just kind of gives your skin a little mini polish every day, which I really, really like. And then the second step is the revitalizing toner. This is the first toner I have ever used in my life. I'm kind of a newbie to these acne treatments, like I said. I think the idea behind a toner is that it is supposed to restore the pH balance in your skin, but I like it because I think it really minimizes my pores a lot. I will pour just a little tiny bit of this on a cotton round and just kind of all over my face, and I notice that right away it closes up my pores, and I think that keeps dirt and oil from seeping down into your pores throughout the day, thus keeping your skin nice and clear. So, love this. So once that is kind of dried on my skin, I will go on to step three, which is the repairing treatment, which is just a white a really light white lotion. Sometimes I will use the toner and the repairing treatment at night as well. It just kind of depends. My skincare routine isn't really set in stone. I just kind of do whatever I'm feeling that day. And as for my moisturizers, this one you guys have seen before. This is the L'Oreal Collagen Moisture Filler. I love this moisturizer. It's so amazing. It is SPF 15. I'm not sure if I already said that, but it's SPF 15. I don't use it because I have lots of issues with wrinkles on my face or anything, but I think that it kind of does for me what a primer does. So it really smooths the surface of your skin. It fills in, in any... fills. In fills in any uneven texture in your skin so it's like the perfect base for makeup. Anytime I'm wearing a medium to full coverage foundation like my Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Foundation which is a little bit of a denser cream product, I always use this first. It just makes it glide on like butter on your skin and it looks so nice. And also it's super lightweight but it really really keeps your skin hydrated. And then a more recent find is the, I think this is how you say it, the Lumine Vitamin C Pure Radiance Day Cream and this is also SPF 15. I picked up a little sample size because I just wanted to try it before I took the dive with the bigger size, but it's kind of interesting. It's like a yellowy color, and it says it is, it has vitamin C and arctic cloudberry, which I have no idea what that is, but it sounds magical. Here's a little close-up of both of those so you can see. This Lumine moisturizer is formulated to make your skin look really nice and radiant, which I definitely think it does. It just absorbs right into the skin, and it just looks very, very luminous without being overly shiny or greasy. It smells so good. It smells like lemon cookies or something like that without being overbearing or overpowering. It just has a really nice 
semi-sweet type of scent to it so I love this that was the first thing I noticed about this but I've definitely been loving this moisturizer and then so fast forward to my nighttime routine so first thing I have to do before I cleanse my face is kind of remove my makeup right what I have been loving for that lately are these simple cleansing facial wipes and you guys hinted to me in one of my recent videos in the comments that I would really really like these which I definitely do I love these so much because they remove my makeup really well without burning my eyes which is key so they're just very very gentle okay so once my skin is all squeaky clean Eater, eater. I will use my cleanser like I said I use a different cleanser at nighttime this is the Olay fresh effects shine shine go away shine minimizing cleanser it's supposed to be like almost like a mask and a cleanser in one which you can definitely tell when you're lathering it up on your face it feels a lot thicker and it looks like you're applying a mask but it rinses away really easily and the reason I like this so much is the way my skin feels after I use it my skin doesn't feel like it's had the life sucked out of it, it doesn't feel like it's totally stripped it just feels nice and soft and really really clean and refreshed and then I'm ready to moisturize so my nighttime moisturizer has not changed in a little while this is the Burt's Bees Intense Hydration Night Cream with Clary Sage. So I've been using this probably since last summer. And I love this because it's really, really rich. It gives you just the most nourished looking skin because it just absorbs right in and instantly your skin just looks amazing. I don't know. I really love this stuff a lot. It smells really good. The only thing I don't like about it is the packaging. I don't really like jars like this because I have long nails. So I don't, you know, really enjoy dipping my fingers in here too much, and I'm kind of a closet germaphobe, so I don't really gravitate towards packaging like this, but if I like the product enough, like with the Lumine moisturizer too, I can get over it, so. And I knew I would do this, I almost forgot to mention these, the Olme Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover Pads, and this is just a tiny size that I got by the checkout at Ulta, but you can also buy them in the, like, a thicker stack at the drugstore. These are really great because they're just these little tiny rounds remover pads, and I have been using these for years, and I find they're really helpful. Like, after you've cleansed your skin, sometimes you'll miss a little bit of mascara, and then after you wash your face, it'll end up underneath your eye, little raccoon eye look going on. So I just use that to kind of wipe that away without, <clears throat> without wasting an entire simple makeup wipe. They're also really great to fix any mess ups with your eye makeup. I used them earlier today for that. Sometimes I'll use the proactive, I think it's called the repairing mask. I've used that like once or twice, but I really really love this Freeman's Clay Mask, the Mint and Lemon. I think you can find this at Ulta is where I found mine, and it smells amazing. It's just so refreshing, and it just draws all of the impurities out of your skin. Like, you will be hard pressed to find any clogged pores after you use this. That's been my experience anyways. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I know this is geared more towards my skin type and also towards breakouts. So not all of these products that I mentioned will work for everyone, but I hope that it was helpful in general. And I was kind of debating whether to do my January favorites because I'm kind of late on those uh, or my skincare video, but I was just feeling skincare today. So my favorites will be up very soon in a few days. So you can watch out for those. So thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.